WKBS, Burlington, Philadelphia. of arresting your husband. I don't have any grounds to arrest him. Well, then what are you doing here? But I'd like to talk to you about something else. What? Calvin told me that my car was going to try to organize a little party for you. He wanted to see if he could enlist your help in the Wiley case. The unmitigated gall of those people. I have never been so insulted in all my life. How dare they? Raven, How listen. dare they accuse my husband? And they'll be very lucky if they don't have a slander suit on their hands. Do you believe the same thing? Look, I swear I do not want to harm your husband. As a matter of fact, I realize today that I've probably been treating him unfair. It's just that I've been so angry about not being able to get the truth behind Jefferson Brown. I've, I've got to get hold of that man to get the facts to absolve my father. How do you mean that? Look, Skylar Whitney is probably just a scapegoat for me. He's a substitute for Jefferson Brown. Well, then why don't you tell those people to leave my husband alone about stupid watches. It has been so disgusting, all these accusations. They're acting as if Skyler should be on trial instead of Gavin Wiley. But there was somebody who did not get to testify tonight. Who? Bobby Gerard. is brought to you by Sure Antiperspirants in three convenient forms. They'll help keep you dry all day. And by Puritan Oil. Puritan knows you're fighting serum cholesterol. Puritan wants you to win. Health experts don't always agree on what's best. But many of them believe we should keep our serum cholesterol from rising above normal limits. Now, how do we do that? Well, in this university study, 43 families on individual eating plans reduced serum cholesterol an average of 9.6% in three weeks. Did they live on boiled rice? Not at all. They cut down on foods that were high in cholesterol and saturated fats. They ate more fish, more chicken, more fruit, more vegetable. And for cooking and salad dressings, they used puritan oil because it is low in saturated fats and contains no cholesterol. This is the oil, I think you should try it. This is the name, I think you should remember it. Puritan knows you're fighting serum cholesterol. Puritan wants you to win. I didn't use my antiperspirant before court this morning. I, I thought, thought she would... <laughs> was gonna buy it. But even after my second day before a grumpy jury, I still felt dry, thanks to Sure. Look. Even after 48 hours, 70% of Sure's protection is still helping to keep you dry. You know, if Sure can keep me this dry on a day I can't use it, imagine how sure I feel when I always use it. Sure, an extra day of dryness, just to be sure. The role of Jinx Avery is now being played by Susan McDonald. What's zero minus zero? Nothing. That's exactly what we accomplished tonight. Is that true, Gavin? You confront the principal party because you, you try to create some kind of anger or guilt or something inside that pretty brunette head. It's, it's worth a try. Yeah, the last gaps. Now we have no place to turn. Okay, it might seem that way right now, but if Raven thinks about what she heard tonight... You sure nobody wants coffee or dessert? Not in the mood, sir. Boy, what a gloomy group. I don't know what that was all about tonight, but this is the craziest private party I've ever seen. Maybe that'd make me feel better. Dessert. 
Oh. Uh, hot fudge sundae. Is that an order? Yeah. How about anybody else? Oh, I'm buying. Uh -uh. I'll pass. Uh -uh. One hot fudge sundae. All right, I still don't think we should be this depressed. Uh, let's not forget, this is the first time Raven has heard the truth about Scott. Well, that's true. We do have to give it some time to sink in. It's got a long way to sink. The woman has a very thick skin. Okay, but she might go home and think about what we told her. Anyway. It can't work, Jody. She's not going to ride on her husband. Well, Gavin, come on. Mike didn't have that in mind. I mean, he just figured if she heard some of the facts, she might talk him into coming clean. Mike Carr doesn't know Skylar Whitney. I don't even know why he bothered. Gavin, he stuck his neck out for you. Hope you know that. It's true, he really did. Well, you do know why he did it, don't you? It's because you wouldn't cooperate. Isn't that funny? What do you mean? It's because Gavin wouldn't change his story, Jody, because he kept insisting that he shot Gunther from up close when all the facts say that that couldn't possibly be true. Come on, Calvin. I just couldn't help it. I've tried to tell it the way everybody wants to hear it. I just can't. Easy, easy, easy. No, I think it's a stupid story to tell the jury, but it did impress Mike. Yeah, but it also might turn out to be a mistake. I know that, honey, but I just have to tell it the way it actually happened. The way it actually happened. Hey, I got an idea. Now, what is it? The studio's only a couple of doors from here. Why don't we go down there and you show us what you say actually happened? Wait a minute, that studio's occupied. Jim Diedrichson's acting school's there. Yeah, so you're a member of the group, aren't you? Huh? So get us in. <laughs> Would you care for some more french fries? Yes, sure, thank you. Oh, please. <laughs> mm. Allow me. Well, thank you. The service around here is wonderful. <laughs> Your slightest wish is our command. Well, that's very comforting, especially coming from the three musketeers. Mm, all for one and one for all. <laughs> yeah, sometimes. Tell me, did you all know each other in Hollywood? Uh-huh. Dreamland. Wonderland. Lotus land. <laughs> Weird, but wonderful. <laughs> if you're working. And did you work out there? Oh, sure. All the time. Oh. Movies and TV became an awful grind, though, after a while. One day after another. I remember my agent had me up for two and three things at the same time. Yeah, the pressure just wasn't worth it. After and then a the while. aggravation dealing with the producers about billing, about salary, trying to keep your agent in line, and then trying to avoid the gossip columnists. Mm, is that why you left? Yeah, success just wasn't any fun anymore. <laughs> Uh, pretty lonely at the top, huh, Johnny? Yeah, it really is a drag. Well, I don't know why we ordered this baloney. I think we manufacture it ourselves pretty well. <laughs> <laughs> well, listen, you don't have to worry, guys. I didn't believe you for a minute. Oh, heck, listen, Jimmy, who cares about TV and movies anyways? We're legitimate actors, right? Right. I just wish some of those illegitimate producers would give us a break. You, uh, you never tried the Hollywood scene, huh, Jinx? No, no, not me. I have only one ambition, to be a leading lady on stage just once before I die. <laughs> uh. You're soft and you know it. You're smooth and you know it. Never you're soft, never you're smooth. And boy, do you know it. Knowing your skin is as soft and smooth as it can be is what makes you feel so confident inside. That natural feeling is yours every day with Nivea Moisturizing Lotion. Nivea soft, Nivea smooth. With Nivea Moisturizing Lotion. You know it. If you're starting 1982 with a diet, here's a New Year's resolution for you. Resolution Diet Capsules. To help you keep your resolution to lose weight. Resolution has a handy calendar pack so you won't forget your resolution. And there's a sensible diet plan included. Choose from maximum strength resolution, with or without caffeine, or lighter formula resolution too. For a slimmer 1982, start the new year with resolution. Oh, hello folks. How was the dinner? Uh, depressing. Yes, a little disappointing. To say the least. Oh, remind me never to go to that restaurant. <laughs> no, it wasn't the food. It was just the... 
never mind. The ambiance. The ambiance. That's exactly what it was. Well, I don't know. I'm not in such a hot mood myself this evening. Oh, what's the matter? It's not Adam, is it? He's all right, isn't oh, he? Oh, sure. He's fine, fine. No, it's just me. I seem to be annoyed by everything easily these days. Like what? I had a visitor. Who? Your secretary, Nora Fulton, came by about an hour ago. She said she wanted to do a little work. It just seemed funny this time of night. And I wasn't sure that, you know, she had your permission to be here. So I discouraged her from staying. Yes, and? And she left. But I've been worried about whether or not I did the right thing. <laughs> Isn't that all you're worried about? I'm sorry, forgive me, but after tonight's events, I just can't get worked up over that one. Please don't worry about it. Okay. Well, would you like anything from the kitchen? No, no. All I want right now is to go out and get out of these clothes and things and something more comfortable. Would a drink help? Oh, no, thank you, partner. She looks tired. Oh, she's fine. Just a disappointing evening, that's all. Dr. Kavanaugh. Yeah. Do you mind if I talk to you for a minute? No, not at all. Go ahead. Um, I've been trying to decide for a long time whether to talk to you about this, but I think the time has come for me to say what's been on my mind. I've never known you to pull any punches, Mrs. Goodman. You go right ahead. Well, maybe I'm out of line in this, and if I am, so be it. Um, this woman, Nora Fulton, has been saying things to me about you. And I think she's been insinuating the same things to your wife. Insinuating what things? Well, she told me, straight out, that you're having an affair with one of your patients. She said that? Yeah. I swear to you, in those words tonight. And she's been hinting the same thing for weeks and weeks. Well, was she any more specific than that? Yeah, I guess you know who she meant. The actress, you know, who was here for the party that night, the Christmas party. Miss Avery. Yeah, that's her. I see. Look, I'm not usually a snitch. This hasn't been easy for me. No, I understand. Look, don't worry about it. I will speak with Miss Fulton myself. You can count on that. Look, if you want to tell her I told you, it's okay. I mean, I'm not going behind her back. No, the only thing I would sort of like you to do, uh, if you could, Mrs. Goodman, is to avoid saying anything to Nicole about this. She's got enough to contend with right now. Oh, sure. I understand. And I hope I haven't gone beyond bounds. No, you did the right thing. I guess you know that you both are like my family, and I... I just couldn't bear to have any troublemaker come between you and Mrs. Kavanaugh. Well, hey, I really think you should have something to eat before you go to bed. Boy, that really must have been an awful meal. Hey, listen. I made a cake tonight, an almond cake. It really turned out well. Mm -hmm. How about a piece for both of you? Mm, that sounds delicious. Maybe with a little tea, too. Okay, right up. Oh, I'll get it. Kavanaugh residence. Yes, yeah, he's here. <clears throat> just a moment, please. Doctor, it's for you. Who is it? I didn't get the name. Hello. Oh, hello, Jinx. What's the matter? Miles, I wanted you to be the first to hear my good news. I got an acting job. Well, sort of. When we set out to improve a great laundry detergent, we wanted to keep the powerful cleaners that work on ordinary dirts, that cut through food stains, that get out grease and oil, and add powerful cleaners that clean collar soil even better than before. So that's what we did. All in the concentrated quarter cup called New Formula Era. So effective, it cleans clean through. Watch Era clean through collar soil, taco grease, and motor oil. We treat only the top with a teaspoon of Era, rub, run under warm water, and look. New Era cleans clean through. That's the kind of power you get in Era's little quarter cup. New Era, power that cleans clean through. What you use in the automatic drip coffee maker? Folgers flaked coffee. Delicious. What you use in the automatic coffee maker? Folgers flaked coffee. Mm, it tastes great. Mm -hmm. Mrs. Olson, what you used in the... Oh, 
Folgers Flake Coffee. Oh, nothing's better than these coffee makers. Why is that? Folgers is mountain grown, the richest kind of coffee. And it's flaked? Flaked to release more rich flavor, so you use less. If you normally use five measures, you only need four of Folgers Flaked Coffee. Delicious. Folgers is a coffee recommended by Proctor Silex for its automatic coffee makers. Mountain grown Folgers. That's how good coffee makers make great coffee. Did you know that Gavin and Jody were looking for the watch the night they were caught in your house? Yes, I knew it, but I don't believe a word of it. I think she just made the whole thing up to save her boyfriend. The police believe her. They think that she saw Gunther with your husband's watch. Do you believe her? The police are on Gavin's side. It's not true, Raven. If it was, Gavin wouldn't be in custody facing a murder trial. Then what did you mean about Bobby? What does she have to do with all this? Look, Bobby Gerard is not a thief any more than Gavin and Jody were. She stole his watch. Yes, but not for keeps. Raven, can you tell me exactly what happened that night? What did Bobby do? She tried to walk out the front door with the watch. She said she was going for a walk, and I remember Spencer stopped her because he was suspicious, and she had the watch. She said that she was upstairs dusting, and she dropped it and broke it and wanted to get it fixed before anybody knew about it. Well, that sounds reasonable. Well, I thought so, but Skylar didn't. Was the watch broken? The crystal was broken. It didn't work. Was the music box broken, too? Yes, but we found out the following day that Skylar was right. And that was the day that Bobby disappeared. That's right. She walked out the front door with the watch, and she never came back. I know. So that's all I know about it. And that's all my husband knows about it. And I'm sick and tired of talking about watches. Raven, Bobby Gerard stole that watch for Gavin Wiley. What are you talking about? She was looking for the same thing that Gavin and Jody were looking for when they were caught in your house. They needed proof that there were two watches. Are you implying... That your husband lied to the police. Bobby needed the proof. She couldn't get it because she was murdered. Intruding, are we? Oh, well, I was about ready to leave, but come on in. Oh, let me introduce some friends. This is Jody Travis, Gavin Wiley, Kevin Stoner, nice the maestro, you. Jim Diedrichson. Hi. How you doing, Jim? Hi. Well, are you uh, all interested in acting? Yeah, well, I guess tonight we are. Seems like a rather dedicated group. What's going on? Yeah, uh, we'd like to try a little different kind of acting exercise tonight, okay? Different? Yeah, um, we want to reenact a crime. Crime? Great. Sounds like a good improvisation. What can I do to help you? You know, I got an idea. Maybe uh, Jim ought to take Gunther's part. That way he won't have too many preconceived ideas, you know? Yeah. Well, I, I know a little bit about him from Cliff in the newspapers. He's the bad guy. <laughs> the classic villain, so to speak. Yeah, well, I like bad guys. This should be fun. Uh, I don't think I'm going to like this too much. I don't think I'm going to like this either, honey, but I have to do it. OK, well, tell me about the situation. Um, who's gonna be the director here? I need a director. Well, I guess Gavin's the best equipped of us all. He's, uh, he's the one with the story. Well, uh, this guy is... was. Big. Massive. Taller than you. Okay. I'll think tall. And, uh, very muscular, thick neck, uh, heavy shoulders, and his head was completely shaven. Well, I'm not gonna go that far. I'll just think all. Uh, if you just think monster, you should have it down perfectly. Okay. I think I got it. He's big and menacing. Yeah. What about his voice? Very deep and resonant. Like 
Okay, kid, you better do what I tell you. All right. Well, tell me the situation. Like, walk me through it. Okay, let me say that. Um, I was about <clears throat> here, I guess, and uh, he was right about there. And at this point, I had the gun. The guy? Yeah. Just a second. Why don't you use this as a prop? Um, the argument between us had really developed a full head of steam. He was taunting me about my girlfriend, Jody, uh, implying all sorts of ugly things about her. You see, earlier he tried to attack her. Now, I just wanted to get him out of the studio, so I gave him 10 seconds to get the hell out the door. Then he came towards me. I backed up to about here, uh -huh. where I couldn't go any other place. He came at me again. At this point, we grappled for the gun. We struggled. Boom, it went off. Okay. Great. Great second act, Kurt. I want to get into this a little bit more. Um, what was he wearing? Oh, he's just wearing black pants and a plain white shirt. OK. I'll be right back. Cliff, can you hold this, please? It is so strange being in this place again. Yeah, I know. It, it feels really weird. All the dancers, dance routines, rehearsals. Five, six, seven, eight. It's uh, also the place I put the cuffs on you, old buddy. Hey, I have no hard feelings about that. Yeah, well, I wish you'd tell that to Dee Dee. She thinks I'm the worst friend in the world for what I did. I wonder if that's why she's going to marry Julius. Wait a minute. Is, did, did Julius propose to Dee Dee? As far as I've been told. Well, she couldn't have answered him, or else she would have told Mitzi, and Mitzi certainly would have told me. When did you find out? Well, I stopped by the other day with Val and Kelly, and uh, she gave me the good news. I mean, she hasn't said yes, but she hasn't said no. Well, when, when did he propose to her? Well, at the Christmas party, as far as I know. So that's what they were doing in the kitchen all that time. Well, you know, you see, what happened was that Mitzi and I were in the We were singing in the living room, and we didn't have any idea at all what was going on. Well, this must be really tough on you. Well, it's her decision, not mine. Look, uh, maybe I should talk to Dee Dee. Look, I... Okay. You guys all take your places. We'll do a run-through here. Thank you. Thank you. All right, now, Gunther, I'm warning you. I'm giving you five seconds to get the hell out that door. Hmm. Don't try and fool me, kid. Now, look, you haven't got enough guts to pull that trigger. Don't try me. This gun is loaded. Don't be stupid. I'll shoot. I swear I will. Kid, kid, let me just take that toy away for me before somebody gets hurt. No. Ah. Oh. Okay, Gavin, then what'd you do now, exactly? I, uh, I leaned down against my the ah. Jim! Well, you guys wanted it real, didn't you? Oh, my God. <laughs> This is just a very simple stagecraft thing. It's a, it's a blood bag. <laughs> it's filled with uh, casein and vegetable dye, and you, you push against it in order to make a wound. <laughs> I'll get the children's aspirin. Uh-uh. I use children's Tylenol now, because I found out more pediatricians give it to their own kids. To bring down your child's fever fast, trust children's Tylenol. No more fever. You've got a bright mom. She does what pediatricians do. Trust aspirin-free children's Tylenol, the one more pediatricians give their own children in chewables, liquid, and drops. Now to help fade age spots, try Fayon's. New Fayon's cream or lotion in a pump dispenser. Fayance penetrates below skin surface to help fade age spots in just eight weeks. Fayance sunscreen helps block sun rays that can make spots darken. For your delicate complexion, facial Fayance, enriched with vitamin E and moisturizers. Remember the unique name, Fayance. Cream, facial formula cream, or lotion. Fayance, a great idea. It's Saturday night! Cleverest species of them all. Yeah! 
Tonight, Ted Knight hosts Saturday Night. <laughs> All these people are trying to tell me that my husband had something to do with Gunther's death. And now Bobby's death. It's insane. Oh, Skyler. What's going on? almost afraid to come home and face you, Raven. I can imagine. I'm sure you must feel I've acted very badly. But believe me, it was far more difficult for me to do what I did than you can possibly imagine. Skyler is my nephew, my only living relative. To you, it must have seemed like a betrayal. What about me? I'm supposed to be like your daughter, a fact that you've mentioned with some regularity around here. Well, I still feel that way. That's the primary reason why I agreed to that meeting tonight. For your protection. From whom? From what? To keep anyone from harming you, even if it turned out to be your own husband. Skylar would never harm me or anyone else. Raven, please try to You understand. are the menace around here. And you will no longer interfere in our lives. Because this may be the Whitney Mansion. But I am the mistress, and you are no longer welcome in my house. <coughs> Dig's Formula 44 D, please. Helen, with this nasty cough plus congestion, I need... Formula 44 D. But Helen, I need a decongestant, not just strong cough medicine. You need Formula 44 D. It's strong like Formula 44, has the strongest non-narcotic cough suppressant you can buy. Plus, ingredients to help unstuff your nose and loosen up for chest congestion. That's what I said. Formula 44D. Strong for coughs, plus congestion. We made our Heinz ketchup strainer test even tougher. We've lined the three strainers with a popular coffee filter. Think that would keep the competition from running? It should. <laughs> nope. Same results. Heinz thicker ketchup still wins. Seeing is believing. But here's where the thickness pays off. Seeing is believing, but tasting is proof. Heinz is the best tasting ketchup. Heinz, America. And don't forget the free sports shirt. Sports Illustrated doesn't just tell you what happened, it tells you why. It gives you the inside story and a close-up look at Bird, Jabbar, and Johnson. And don't forget the free sports shirt. And baseball, from the hot corner to behind the plate, Sports Illustrated covers it all. The up-and-comers and the world champs, like Steve Garvey. And don't forget the free sports shirt. Call now, toll-free, 1-800-621-8200, and get 26 issues of Sports Illustrated for $17.77. That's the basic rate of just 69 cents an issue. And with your paid subscription, you'll get our Sports Illustrated sports shirt absolutely free. Call 1-800-621-8200. And ask for small, medium, large, or extra large. Bill Russell hosts Saturday night, tonight at 11. Offers the vacationer total excitement. This is Field Communications in Philadelphia. Door world, we're the right kind of door. It's a rough world out there, and a magnet seal steel door will keep it out. At Door World right now, we'll give you $100 to trade in your unsafe front door for a new Magnus Steel Steel Door available in hundreds of styles and colors. 
So come to Door World now or call 1-800-228-8000 for our free shop at home service. That's 1-800-228-8000. Door World, it's a rough world out. Door World. Lamont runs for a seat in the State Assembly tonight at 7 on Sanford and Sons.